What's up guys, one more thing, I got a brand new episode of Washington Station, the best station for Washington football nation. Now obviously today we're talking about our game Sunday against the San Francisco 49ers, but we're going to Arizona because of the rules the mayor of Santa Clara has made it impossible for the 49ers to practice or play in San Francisco. So we'll be traveling down to Arizona where we played week two where we lost to the Cardinals. Um... It's going to be a good game. We know right on the coattails of a big win. San Francisco lost to the Rams. We beat the Steelers. I never get old saying that. Um, uh, fun fact for for anybody listening. I um, made, I won a steak dinner off a of bet for that game. So, just a, just a fun little uh tip of information if you hear some sounds i had to work on my mic over here it's been kind of wonky so you just have to deal with things you deal with when you're making youtube videos anyway so yeah i think it's gonna be a good game i i'm gonna go ahead and start off by saying we're going to win i fully believe we're going to win after monday night's game there's no game we can't win um it's gonna be a battle it's gonna be tough it's not gonna be an easy it's not gonna be handed to us we want to work for it um Obviously, it's a rematch versus two old teammates who are doing pretty good down there in San Francisco. One being uh, Trent Williams, um, future Washington Ring of Fame, probably NFL Hall of Fame. And I thought it was cool in the interviews this week to try to get him to say something bad about the team. And he refused to say anything bad about the team and said he wishes nothing but the best for us because the people he had grudges with in the last regime are all gone. And uh, he says he watches our games whenever he has a chance, which is which is I think is awesome because he loves these guys. I know they love him. I know Moses and Sheriff, and and um probably a couple other players love him. My camera died, so I had to reset. But anyway, what I was talking about was Jordan Reed. Um, he's definitely making an impact down there in San Francisco, and I think he might be a problem for us Sunday. But I think we'll be all right because we haven't had too many problems facing tight ends this season, so I think we're going to be pretty all right there. And, yeah, it's going to be a close game. You know, San Francisco has started getting hot over the past um, couple weeks, especially their defense is really balling out. They're getting a little bit healthier. And so it's going to be a good game. It's going to be a hard game to play. Um, we're not a super team just because we beat, Pit we beat Pittsburgh. So it's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a tough outing for us, as every game is. Um, I think we're going to win. I think we'll win by a score or two. And it's going to be a good one. I think... Um, Nick Mullins, we're just going to disrupt him. He's not going to be comfortable in the pocket um, with the four, with the front four or five, however many we send at a time. Um, we send at him. Um, but you know, on the other side, you got Kyle Shanahan, offensive mastermind, Robert Sala, defensive mastermind, probably going to be a head coach in the next month or two. And um, yeah, it's just I think it's going to be a tough game. You know, they're very smart coaches. Just because the team's not at, playing at the highest level they're still coaching at the highest level and you know that's a threat no matter who's playing on the team um, New England has showed that over the years not so much this year but in past years that you can hardly have anybody on the team but if you're coached well then you're going to be alright all it's not like they're in a dumpster fire this year but um, neither here or there but you know going forward I think tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, uh, Sunday's going to be a good game it's going to be a exciting game to watch I think every Washington game is exciting now just because of the playoff hopes as well as um you know just the team's just fun you know you're seeing what the offense isn't amazing but it does enough you know you just want to see who's going to have that big game is it going to be cam is it going to be mckissick is it going to be mclaurin it's going to be thomas you know who's going to get it because gibson's out this week um more likely he's doubtful for sunday but you know it's it's what comes you know um i'm hoping for a good game it's gonna be a good one it's gonna be a hard fought game i uh, see us winning and uh, yeah, it's going to be an actually great game. Uh, the San Francisco has is still there's they still got a lot of weapons on offense. Even if Nick Mullins, because Nick Mullins doesn't play bad, he he's kind of like he'll he'll come out one game and play good, and then other games he'll play terrible. He has a lot of passing yards. If you see the rankings, he's actually third with like I can't remember who the other one maybe like Peyton Manning and somebody else like pass yards wise, which is absolutely awesome for him. You know, wish the best for him, you know, have some young success as a young quarterback. But, you know, I think we're going to go in there, we're going to handle him, we're going to win, and we're going to come out 6-7 and seven on the playoff trail, you know. 
Um, we're fighting not only for the top of the division, but we're fighting for a wild card because that's very much in play now because the team that has the third is wild card is the Vikings, and they're only one game ahead of us. So why, So what's it to say we won't be able to squeak into the wild card spot? You know, the worst division in football this year produces two playoff teams possibly. You know, it's very likely either we will be the wild card or the Giants will be the wild card. But, you know, it's going to be a good game going going into tomorrow and it has a lot of stakes. Every game this month had is meaningful. Um, it means everything to win every single one of these games, which we can and which I believe we will. Hot hot take. So, anyway, I hope you have a great day. Make sure to stay safe. Thank you for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to that bell button to be notified every single time I put a brand new episode. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed. Make sure to comment down below your thoughts. Make sure to check out the links below. Make sure to check out Wilmore's merch and also um, the Patreon. Every little bit helps. I'm working on a Washington Station merch design that won't get me in trouble for logos. Anyway, so I hope you have a great day. Make sure to stay safe. I'm Wilmore's and I'm out.